Hi everyone, welcome back to the CS Classroom. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to talk about how to make line graphs in PySimple GUI, kind of like this one. Um, so this can be quite useful for just for um, displaying data, um, particularly for any of the more sophisticated or even data science oriented applications you want to build. Um, so let's get into it. So let's go ahead and just create a file called, let's say, main window .py. And the idea is that I want to be able to create um, a, a plot using two arrays, one corresponding to the x, the x axis and one to the y axis. So right here, we've got our x and our y. And we've got um, our array corresponding to our x axis and our array corresponding to our y axis. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to import um, PySimple GUI as SG. And we're also going to need to use a, another library that we haven't used before, which is matplotlib. Um, if you've done any sort of work with data science or um, any sort of scientific work with Python, you've definitely heard of it because it's kind of the main library for working with um, graphs um, in Python applications. So we're going to use it this way. And we're also going to have to import, or after we're going to have to use another import line. It's a bit complicated. And um, this is used for uh, basically allowing us to take uh, matplotlib graphs and embed them in our PySimple GUI application. It's, long, it's a long line of code, but just bear with me here. OK, I think that's it. Um, and in order to use matplotlib, actually, one thing we do need to do is we do need to install matplotlib. So let's go ahead and do that in our terminal. Um, so to say uh, pip install matplotlib. OK, looks like we've already got installed. And what we're actually doing is we're, imp we're importing matplotlib and then using, besides this function we already explained, we're also using another function to actually draw our graph. Um, so the first thing we actually want to do is we want to use this data to just like create a graph. Um, so let's go ahead and just like write the code to do that. First thing we're going to do is plt which corresponds to this right here, um, dot plot. And we're going to have a year and unemployment rate corresponding to our x and y axes. And then the color of our graph is going to be red, as we can see right here. Um, we could change that. Actually, you know, let's just make it blue. Let's see what happens. And then our marker is going to be um, an O. Um, and that presumably corresponds to these right here. Um, then we want to create a title, and the title for this is going to be plt.title uh, unemployment rate uh, versus year. And we're going to give that a font size equals 14. By the way, um, I forgot to mention that I have actually, I did actually take some of this code from an online tutorial that I will link to in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Um, okay, and then we want to label our x-axis, and we're going to label it year right here to indicate like what the x-axis actually is. So we're going to say plt dot x label uh, year and font size. Well, actually, yeah, font size equals fourteen. It's kind of like everything else. Um, and then we'll kind of just well we can't well we'll kind of copy that, and we'll say for y-axis y label. And that's going to be unemployment rate. And the font size is going to be the same. Um, and what we need to do now, well, actually, OK, yeah, we've pretty much got everything we need. And um, we're going to say plt.grid uh, true, because it is actually in a grid, you can see right here. Um, and what I want to do before I, I even like try to mix, try to like integrate this with PySimple GUI is just see if I can show you this graph right away. So let's go ahead and just run this and see what happens. OK, so right here, we've just got a uh, graph right here in blue. And this is what it looks like. This is just what like a matplotlib graph looks like. Um, it hasn't been integrated into PySimple GUI yet. So now that we've done this, what I want to do is I want to show you how to, how to um, sort of insert this into PySimple GUI. So 
What we're going to do is first we're going to create a layout like we've done many, many times before. So we're going to say layout equals uh, creating a two dimensional array. So we'll put that down here. Um, we're just going to say sg.text and we're going to name our, we're just going to insert some text that says this is a line clock. Okay. And well, let's just go ahead and just make this really clear. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to install, we're going to use something we haven't used before, which is a canvas object, which is actually typically, typically used to just programmatically draw content um, in PySible GUI windows. And we're actually going to be putting our graph in this canvas object. And I'll show you how that works later. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to make this a certain size. It's probably going to be like, and it's actually going to be pretty big. Um, so we're going to say a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. You can change this as you want. Um, a lot of tutorials don't actually include this parameter, but for me, it didn't work without it. And we're also going to give this a key. And as usual, we're going to follow um, the format in which we have a hyphen before and after the name of the key. And we're just going to call it canvas. Okay. It's just going to be kind of our generic canvas. And we're going to have an exit button. SG.exit. Um, so let's see if there's anything wrong here. Okay, I think we're good. So this exit button corresponds to this right here. It's kind of tiny. Um, this is actually our, our canvas. And our graph is going to go on top of this canvas. And then we have our title right here, which is kind of small as well. Um, we could change the font. Um, at this point, I'm not really interested in doing that. But um, if you really wanted to make it look more aesthetically pleasing, we could do that. So this is our like basic layout. Um, we need to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is we want to like we want to take our plot right here and turn it into an object that can be utilized um, and placed into our canvas. So we're going to create an object called def create plot, and we're specifically going to have parameters of year and unemployment rate, so that we can input our year and unemployment rate one D arrays. Um, and we're going to do this put it inside the function. We're going to change something right here. Um, we're actually just going to do return plt.gcf. And what this GCF function does right here is it turns it into basically what's called a figure. And this is an object that we can, well, an object or basically a figure that we can go ahead and we can place into our canvas. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to draw our figure or our grid or this plot in a canvas. And we're going to write another function to do that. And that's going to utilize um, what we've imported right here. So we're going to have def uh, draw figure canvas uh, figure. And we're going to have figure canvas ag equals figure canvas tk ag, which we imported. Then we're going to include our figure and our canvas. Our canvas is actually going to come from here. We'll, I'll show you how you do this in a line down here. Um, and our figure is actually going to come from right here from create plot. And we're going to import that. In, we're going to input that into our draw figure function. So then we've got uh, figure underscore canvas uh, ag draw, which is basically drawing our graph onto our canvas. Then we're going to have figure uh, canvas ag dot get tk widget uh, dot pack side equals top. And this is basically showing like this is basically um, allowing us to specify how our graph is going to go onto this canvas right here. I'm not really going to go so much into this. Um, I mean, you're free to look up these parameters if you're really interested. Um, I just kind of want to show you how you can just basically display a graph. And then we're going to return that figure canvas.ag variable that we created, which is really an object at this point. Um, and basically where this is all going to come together, um, well, not exactly where this is all going to come together, but we're going to create a window using our layout. And we're going to have window equals uh, sg.window which is pretty much as usual. Um, we're going to call this, let's say, PySimple GUI plus matplotlib line graph line, or line plot. 
Um, we're going to include our layout, and then we're going to include finalize equals true. Um, So basically we're doing finalize equals true um, because we are using something called, we're using a, like, so really like PySimple GUI is inspired and built upon another library called tkinter. Um, and we're really, we're really diving into some tkinter functionality in order to make this whole program work. And finalize equals true allows us to initialize that capability and access it. Um, so strictly speaking, it's not that important to know like exactly what it does, but that is why we have it right here. And then we've got element justification equals center, which basically just allowing us to center things. And next we're gonna have draw figure, which really brings everything together. So we're gonna have draw figure window, and we're specifically gonna we're going to access the canvas object in our window. Which is why we we're typing in the key right here. So we're gonna have window uh, canvas. We have this key right here that we specified up here. Um, and this is going into this function right here. So window canvas, and then we're creating a tkinter object, basically a tkinter object, tk canvas, dot tk canvas. And then we're gonna have create plot, uh, year and unemployment rate. And basically this is this array right up here. And this is this array right up here. And create plot is right here. So here we're getting our figure object. It's going into draw figure. And here we're getting our canvas object that's going to draw a figure. And this is just putting them all together and returning this figure canvas ag. Okay. Um, and then, so this is returning figure canvas ag, but this isn't, this is perhaps not really doing anything. Um, really, this draw function right here is what's making everything happen. It's basically taking the canvas and the figure, at, with the figure being our plot, putting the plot on our canvas, um, and then just drawing it out. Okay, And all of this is being shown on this canvas right here that was specified in our layout. So last part, pretty standard. We're going to have our while loop, our infinite while loop. We're going to have event values equals window dot read. Um, and if event equals sg dot win closed. Ah, okay. We should have a Boolean operator right there. Um, or event equals exit. Uh, okay, then um, break, basically allowing our exit button to function right here. And that's really all we need. I mean, this, really, this is really doing all the work right here. It's the workhorse of this particular application, window and then we'll go to window.close. Um, okay, looks good so far. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happened. Uh, we'll close our sample application right here. Let this run on its own. Probably going to be an error. Okay, we've got invalid syntax, missed a colon right there. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, it says PySimple GUI has no attribute text. What could that possibly mean? And that's going to be on line 18. All right, SG, oh, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure this has got to be capitalized right here. Cool, all right, let's try that again. Okay, and we've got this big application right here. Um, it looks like everything went as planned. Um, we've got our title, our exit. Again, the font can be changed. Also, like uh, this plot looks really big because I specified the canvas was very big. And this is kind of just filling up that canvas. Um, you can kind of change the size. Like I said, a lot of tutorials like didn't really require you to specify this parameter, but for me, it just did not work without it. 
Um, so that's basically how you draw a line plot. Um, as you can see, like, okay, this, this is taking up the whole window and we're not really displaying any other functionality, but this could be shown um, right next to, um, you know, a form or anything else. Uh, this could this could be shown as separate windows. You import so you input some data, and then you can display a form uh, or you can display a plot based on that data. Um, so remember, like this plot, the data in this plot is specified in these two arrays. So in order to display data in a plot, you really just need to have two um, one-dimensional arrays with the data. One array showing one array um, with the data for the x-axis, and the other array with the data for the y-axis. Um, what I do want to do in a future tutorial is kind of show how this can be updated in real time and just kind of work with some um, real time functionality in PySimple GUI. But for now, this is going to be it. So I hope this was useful to you. Stay tuned.